Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nima. If you are new here, if you're not, welcome back. So the other day I was headed to Sephora and I wanted to go pick up the new Fenty Beauty Body Lava and Trophy Wife because it looks amazing. And then a part of me was like, okay, I really wanna see if I can try and find a bronzer. Every now and then I go checking to see if anything has been updated, anything has been extended. So part of me was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go pick up a bronzer, the darkest bronzer that every single company offers and see what happened. That's what I did. I went into Sephora all up and down the aisles to every single company and I picked up the darkest bronzer shade that they had to offer in that company. I didn't get anything that wasn't titled bronzer so if it was just like pressed powder or like finishing powder or anything like that, I didn't get it. I specifically went for bronzers. This is what I got. I spent over $800 on all of these products. I'm pretty sure I picked up something from almost every single brand in Sephora as long as it was labeled a bronzer from that brand. So we're gonna go ahead and just see what's on the market right now for bronzers for deeper skin tones. I'm just gonna pull them all out of here. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Powder, and I got it in the shade Deep. So the general rule of thumb when it comes to bronzer, bronzer is supposed to add warmth to your face, help sculpt out your face a little bit by filling in some of the shadows. Bronzer and contour kind of get interchanged, but not necessarily. Contour is supposed to like really go into the, the darker parts of your face, and bronzer is just supposed to add warmth, like a sun-kissed glow. Generally, they say to go one to two shades darker than the skin tone on your face so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be trying to find something that's one to two shades darker than the skin tone on my face so we can see if we can get a nice little bronzy effect before we even get started I know there's gonna be comments out there people saying oh my gosh you don't need bronzer you don't need that no one needs any drop of makeup on their face no one needs it like it's not a necessity it's not a vital life necessity people like it and people want to wear it and people enjoy wearing makeup and women with deeper skin tones are the exact same they want to enjoy wearing makeup they want to try it. they like applying it so the whole you don't need it argument can just leave the door right now exit stage left because it's just it's not valid at all no one needs it so i'm gonna open it up this is what it looks like on the outside and that is what it looks like inside i already swatched this one but i want to show you guys anyway the darkest bronzer that they offer this is what it looks like I don't even think that's dark enough for me to use as a concealer shade. Would not even set my concealer with the dark bronzer. Like the highlight, I definitely want to use because that's just not for me. Like, oh wow, that looks really white right there. <laughs> so we're gonna pass on Kat Von D. Next, I have Tarte High Performance Naturals. It's called Park Avenue Princess. This one was the darkest one that they had to offer. Um, let's see. That's what it looks like right there. That's the, oh wow, that's really pale. What? That's crazy. What is this gonna bronze on my face? Not a dang thing. I'm gonna start swatching them on my hand, on my face because swatching them on my hands is gonna get too long and I have sleeves on. Let me go ahead and put the Kat Von D there as well. This is Kat Von D Shade and Light. Actually, that's a little bit, that's not even, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna say better, but it's not. It did better than Tarte. Next, I have Too Faced. This is the Dark Chocolate Soleil Longwear Matte Bronzer. And I think it's the shade is called Dark Chocolate. Yeah shade's called dark chocolate dark chocolate soleil matte bronzer okay they even went as far as that okay <laughs> that is dark chocolate soleil okay oh it smells good though it smells like chocolate it smells really good next we've got the Givenchy Le Sassion butchering this name it's the healthy glow powder and it says long lasting radiance totally weightless that's what it looks like right there and this is the powder this looks like a it has a little bit of shimmer to it i thought it said matte it looks like a highlighter yeah that one has a little shimmer to it i can definitely use that as a highlight next i have the sephora collection costa rica bronzer and it says it's in the shade dark and that's what it looks like that's the coastal. That looks like a highlight shade too. It looks like a highlighter. Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. I'm telling you, no one was off limits. I went through every single booth that they had, every single brand. I was like, someone has to have something, at least something. This is the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. 
that right here. That one's a little redder. I could use that as a under eye highlight, like set my under eye with it. Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Maui Nights. This is what it looks like right here. That's the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Maui Nights. Okay, that looks like another highlighter shade. So next we have, what is this, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. I'm putting them all around my face because that's technically where you would apply bronzer around the perimeter of your face. So this is oh, interesting. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. Okay, the packaging though kind of kind of got me. Bronze Goddess. That one kind of looks like another highlighter shade too. That's the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. We got, did I? Oh, I couldn't decide which one was the darker one of the tart ones. I So I got both of them. I got the Hotel Heiress and the Park Avenue Princess. Ow. Yeah, okay, so this one was darker. The new one that I just opened, which was called Hotel Heiress. So let's swatch that one. This is the Tarte Hotel Heiress. I'm turning it to the side because then it shows like it's true color versus like flat on because my lights are so bright. But on the side, then you can actually see the color that I see right in front of me. What's up, Hotel Heiress? These few ones that I've had were more shimmers. Like I said, this Bobbi Brown one, I could use that to set my under eyes. That is the closest thing that I've seen so far on my face that I can use on my face, period, besides the highlighter ones. All the other matte ones are a hard pass. I got the NARS Casino Bronzer. That is what it looks like right there. That one has a little shimmer to it too. A little bit more of that highlight color. Um, I can see this adding a lot of warmth to someone with a lighter skin tone than me. I'm looking at these and I'm just like, some of these don't even cover like medium skin tones. This is crazy. And don't get me wrong, some of them actually have like one or two, but if you're gonna have one or two, just keep the same energy, like have one light one, one dark one. It's about balance. But when you just cater to only the lighter side of the spectrum, it's kind of just like, there's no balance there and I can't give you any credit. Oh, NARS had two bronzers. This one is the NARS Sun Wash Diffusing Bronzer. This is like, Kind of peachy. It's not as powdery as the other ones. This one's not as powdery as the other bronzers. This one's almost like a like a finishing powder, almost. It gives me that vibe of finishing powder, but still not a bronzer. Not for me, at least. Not for deeper skin tones, at least. Then we've got Bare Minerals Bronzing Powder, and I have it in the shade Medium because they had light, fair, light, and medium, I think. Ooh, this feels really soft. Oh my God, what? All right. That's nice. Just gonna keep on moving. <laughs> I have the Cover FX bronzer in the shade Sunset. I think we're getting down to the last few. This is the Cover FX bronzer in the shade Sunset. I don't know whose sun looks like this, but okay. Are you guys getting sun vibes from my face? Sunray, actually kind of Sunray vibes, okay, but no, not really. Okay, I've got the It Cosmetics, ooh, this company. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. I have it in the shade Beach. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. In the shade of Beach. Where did that go? Whoa, that's like literally disappearing. Okay, I guess. Next, we've got Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer. I have it in the shade Mahogany. Oh, I already tried this when I did a review on the ABH powder. I think I threw it away, but I bought another one. This is the ABH Powder Bronzer in the shade Mahogany. That one's a little bit better. I can see this working for medium skin tones, but not dark skin, like at all. I have two more, two more. My desk right now, you guys should see, is crazy. Got the Marc Jacobs Tantric Highlighter. Bron highlighter bronzer. This compact is huge. What? Look at all that space. And you guys will understand why I'm saying that here in a second when you see what I actually do use for bronzer. This is crazy. You guys are lucky. This is the Tantric by Marc Jacobs. And then the last one is the Benefit Hula Toasted. I think 
benefit for the longest time was really known for their hula bronzer and i think they had like one to two shades for the longest time i think the toasted one is their newest bronzer their newest shade and this is what it looks like on the inside i don't have any more space well since it cosmetics is just disappearing we're just gonna rub that away and put you right there that would be a good under eye powder. So I really wanted to do this video because although we made major strides in the foundation and conceal their realm of the world, powder products are still struggling and we still have to keep pushing forward to really round out the inclusivity of the entire beauty industry. We this is just not inclusive. Like, look, 17 different bronzers. 17. My hope is to have the entire beauty industry be fully inclusive. The fact that I'm not, I don't have a bronzer shade in 17 different bronzers, and not only not have a bronzer shade, not have anything close. Nothing close to even entertaining the idea of a bronzer right now in these 17 products from multiple different brands is why I have to keep talking about it, is why we as a whole have to keep talking about it. I'm gonna go and take all of this off my face and then I'm gonna show you guys what I have been using currently as a bronzer. So I'm gonna compare the Hoola, the darkest one that I could find, to what I currently use right now as a bronzer. So I'm gonna take all this off my face. So. I went ahead and just got rid of all that around the perimeter. So like I said, we are going to go into the Hula bronzer and I'm gonna use it as a bronzer shade. This is, literally disappears. Cause like I said, it could set my foundation. This is such a big pan. And you guys will understand why I keep saying that here in a second. So it looks like I didn't even do anything cause it just set my foundation. Like it didn't even do anything. I'm going to use what I've been using, which is this eyeshadow product right here, um, which is this eyeshadow right here from this Morphe palette. And I'm going to show you guys that powders that are deep enough to be used as bronzer for deeper skin tones does exist. It just needs to be created. Someone has to have an interest in it. Just like with foundations, we just got to wake people up. So I'm going to put my big brush into that tiny pan. This is some amazing real estate in this compact right here. That is some amazing real estate because for us with deeper skin tones, we have to get super creative. We have to just be able to finesse products and make them work. And this is one of them. Using this tiny, tiny eyeshadow as a bronzer is one of those things that we have to finesse. And bronze. And see how that's already bringing in some warmth to my face, just like adding some dimension. Even with this eyeshadow powder, there are things that I would want to perfect with that actual product because it's just kind of like use the best you got and that's what I'm doing with this product. But of course there's things that I would want to perfect with it. I think it's a little bit too neutral for me. I think it needs to be a little bit warmer. But for now, since there's really absolutely nothing on the market, this is as good as it's gonna get. So that is the bronze side of my face versus not bronzed. See how it's very one dimensional on this side versus on this side, there looks like there's some like, there's some shading and lighting and contour and all that good stuff. So, so that is why we have to keep talking about things like this. Although we've made great strides in the inclusivity movement, there is still so much more to be done. And this is a prime example, especially powder products. Powder products are lacking to say the least for deeper skin tones. I'm just happy I can be here to be able to use my platform that I have been given to be able to keep pushing towards a fully inclusive beauty industry, meaning everyone can have access to every single beauty product, no matter what their skin tone is. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys have seen something. I hope it's opened your eyes to what still needs to be done in the beauty industry, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notifications. The more we grow, the further we get this message out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys next time.